it. Here's the latest Tinker Project. Local ham. Um, came across a uh, heat kit SP200 amplifier and uh, wanted me to evaluate it for him to see if it was worth fixing up. And I just got done cleaning it all up here and made some tests and so forth. Let me show you what it looks like inside. Okay. And got most of the dirt out of it. Uh, original power supply, transformer, and all everything is uh, present and accounted for. I uh, took a close look at the band switch under there. And it's a little dirty, but it's not arced. Everything's all there. I uh, ran some tests on the transformer. It looks to be good and strong. And most importantly, the tubes. The tubes I took out and put in my own SB200 and um, they seem to be really good. They were the original Citrons with a 1974 day code and uh, 80, 40, 20 meters. They uh, put out 600 watts with uh, somewhere around 100 watts of drive and the grid current still in the good range so we're going to give this thing a go. Okay, here's the underside. Notice somebody has already installed the soft start and the soft key modules. So that's already been done. Good to go. Uh, the bias supply needs to be rebuilt. That's no big deal. Uh, the relay is pretty dirty, so we've got to clean that up a little bit. Um, yeah, so anyway, no big deal. A lot of these re carbon comp resistors are out of tolerance. I've already measured them. So, I think it's worth putting some money into. going to order up the uh, high voltage repair kit, replacement kit. And uh, due to the fact that the original Citron tubes are good, the transformer is good, the band switch is good. It's already got these other Harbach mods. Um, you know, it's definitely a candidate for a uh, complete refurbishment here. So, anyway, that's what's happening. Uh, when the parts come in and we get it all back together, we'll uh, do a short little follow up. So, see you later. Keep tinkering. Okay, just a quick update a little uh, midterm report here so to speak because the high voltage power supply rebuild kit has not come in yet but I've done a bunch of stuff in the meantime so let's take a quick look first thing is uh, added a standby switch um, I don't know these are instant on tubes I guess you don't really need it but my buddy wanted a standby switch on there so that's no problemo um, cleaned up the inside a little bit Cleaned the band switch, just got, you know, general dust and crap and stuff out of there. Um, there's the uh, old power supply that we're waiting the parts for. So let me show you the underside. Alright, that's what it looks like under the hood at the moment. Give you a brief rundown of uh, what all has happened here. I don't know if this light helps or not. It might. Uh, let's see. We start up here. I took the relay apart, cleaned it up best I could. I think it's going to be okay. Cleaned out the fan, put a little drop of motor, cleaned the on uh, oil on the motor, cleaned the blades. I started measuring on the existing carbon comp resistors all over underneath here, and they were all. Each one I measured was out of tolerance or almost out of tolerance on the high side, which is kind of what we expect after almost 50 years. So I just replaced them all, what the heck. Um, so there's 200 ohm resistors here, there's a power resistor here, another one behind there, one here, one on the ALC line, one for the metering. Um, these string measures the high voltage, that's part of the Harbot kit, so that'll be taken care of when that comes in. So, that's just a quick little update, clean the band switch, everything, you know, it's all looking in pretty good shape. I think it's going to work just fine. Uh, oh, one more thing, hang on. 
I wanted to show you these uh, parasitic suppressors. Um, actually, let me uh, set it up a little better here. Hang on. Okay, anyway. The uh, parasitic suppressors that go on the plates or the anodes of the tubes have these 47 ohm 2 watt resistors in. And uh, if past experience is any indication, I haven't taken them out yet and measured them. But I can almost uh, guarantee you they're going to be way high out of tolerance. So, just as a general matter, of course, I'm going to replace those. Uh, with a better resistor, um, a non-inductive type I get from Mouser. And uh, it's made by Ohmite. They're the uh, OY series. There you go, the OY series uh, from Omite. You can get them at Mouser. They're, you know, a couple bucks a piece. But they're non inductive, good replacement for the carbon comps. And, um, you know, I don't uh, know really what effect it has if those resistors that are in there are way high out of tolerance, but I know it's not the way it was designed. So I'm going to replace them and then, uh, you know. Uh, everything will be cool. So that's the story on uh, on the uh, SB200, the Solar Blaster 200, as it stands right now. The next step will be get rid of that garbage down there, replace it with a nice new high voltage power supply kit, pop the tubes in, and uh, check it out. So it'll probably be a while, but uh, that's the uh, project of the week here. Anyway, keep tinkering, everybody. See you all later.